Hi, I'm the Magpie. And I'm Jax. And this is Mondays, Mondays with, with Magpie. Magpie. And today we are doing episode two of our Dinner for Your Honey. Yes. So last time, what did we do, Jax? Vegetables. Quick vegetables. We did three, three vegetables. vegetables. Yeah. All and this is our Mix and match, match series. Yeah. Where you can um, have, we have three proteins today, three vegetables from last time, and we'll have three desserts. desserts. Yeah. All right. So today uh, we're going to start our protein with glazed salmon. Today to do the salmon, all you need is a baking dish. So this is going to be easy cleanup, Jax. I love it. I'm all on board. I know. <laughs> all right. We are going to start by zesting a lemon. So, okay, Jax. Just over here. No, put it right in the pan. Why not? Just put it right in the pan. I can never do this without thinking, zestfully clean. <laughs> remember that commercial? Yeah, I, I do remember. Zestfully clean. <laughs> You're not fully so, clean unless you keep zestfully going. Zestfully clean. <laughs> all right, so keep on doing that. The and whole. Then, all right, bang it in. Bang. No, that's about enough. That's about enough. You don't want it to be real, real, real lemony. Now, chop the lemon in half. And now for the fun, we will squeeze the lemon. This way no, or no, that way? No, no, that way. That way. If you have one of these vegetables oh, at home, yeah, you put it in that side, a flat side down. Okay, Jax, ready? Use your core. Use your core. Ready? And it's two tablespoons. So we're going to do both sides of the lemon, and that should be that should be plenty. Go, 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 girl. Go, girl. See, this is good exercise. Go, go, go. Okay. All right, next. This is really, really so simple. When I was looking at the uh, recipes we we're going to do today, I kept thinking, you know, cooking, what we're doing today, it's really, really simple. There's almost no excuse not to have really, really nice meals. And I have to do that for myself, too, because sometimes I just get so sick of it, and I think I have no ideas, and it's it takes too lazy, long. lazy, like you don't want to make a big mess, but these are great yeah. dishes because they don't make they a don't huge make mess. They don't make a big mess. For me, the cooking isn't the thing as much as the cleanup. That's it. All right, now we need the uh, Dijon mustard and the honey. So Dijon, Dijon mustard first, yeah. We Two. do have some bread. <laughs> okay. Two this is a commercial, and we're not making any money off of these commercials. You know, just do one, just do one. Uh. That's it. One one tablespoon, and then one tablespoon of honey. Yes, dear. Do you and want we see, to we'll it? see what it looks like. Uh, nah, okay. nah, not gonna not gonna matter too much now. All right. So in the in goes the honey, and then I shall do the whisking. Stuck in here. All right. Now we have two salmon fillets, and we. Oh, first of all, we have to salt and pepper. Mm. So, yeah. Sometimes I forget. All right, salt and pepper, both sides. So salt, salt, you can do pepper, salt, okay. Is that enough pepper? Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be plenty. Okay, just a little bit, there we go. All right, so there we are. And then we're gonna put it in and then flip it over Right now? Yeah, just flip it over so that just the glaze, and then flip it back over so the pretty side is up. Yeah, I'll start this way this time. Okay, and then flip it over, rub it all together. Yeah. That's it, guys. Now it goes into a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes, and you're done. Okay, Jack, so our 10 minutes is up. And that's exactly what it took, 10 minutes. It's amazingly fast. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I took some of the pan juices or some of that juice and stuff and I, uh, I put it over the top of the fish just to make it look nice and fresh and moist for your honey. So what you would do now I is <laughs> <laughs> you would add the veg one of the vegetables that we made uh, in the first episode. And, uh, and they're, oh wow, okay. Mm. That's mm. really good. That's really good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's restaurant quality. Mm. Mm -hmm. So mm. good. That was really easy. All right, so that salmon in 10 minutes, and now we're going to do some chicken is going to be next. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is chicken for your honey. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't How get, are we going to do that? She doesn't get to drink the wine. She gets to beat the chicken with the wine. I use chicken thighs because I think they taste better. They're juicier. But if you want to use chicken breast, just slice it nice and thin so you have like a cutlet. And uh, you can pound it thinner if you want or uh, just use it as a cutlet. So this um, is Maggie's little system. She split 
uh, the bag. Because I'm clever. She's very clever. Yeah. And then the magpie. I just called you Maggie. And then <laughs> we open the open the thigh. And now here it goes. If you don't have a mallet, you don't need a mallet. You just need some Chateau Saint Michel. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good wine, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Why are we using this one? You would think we have cheap wine. We're going to do. <laughs> but uh, this isn't one of them. Um, Shouldn't we be using a cheap wine to do this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can use any. You can use any heavy item you have. You can even use a pot if that's all you have. Just get another, just something to pound with. And the idea is to get it all even so that it cooks nicely. And there she goes. Maybe you should sing a song. I've been working on the railroad. Oh, had a long day. <laughs> At the end. So it's nice and even. And we've done three. Go. But you can do two. It's gonna be a nice big piece of meat, but I happen to have three thawed, so I'm gonna cook three. Just in case your your honey has a large Where's appetite, you'll have an extra one. Alright, Jacqueline is wearing gloves. Oh, she's there not was. she was wearing gloves. I took gloves. them off too soon. But there we go. So you don't have to touch raw chicken a whole lot. But if you do, just wash your hands really, really well. Alright. That's it. Now it's time to set up your dredging place. So what do you mean? remember February, F-E-B, you have flour, egg, bread. Oh, that's now, very clever. I know, I know. <laughs> now the first thing you have to do is put a, a little bit of salt and pepper in each. In you, all of them? Yes. You Even season, the eggs? Yeah, you season everything. You season at every step in order to ensure um, flavor. Not too much flavor, in the salt at least. <laughs> <laughs> and then some pepper. I haven't touched the chicken yet, but these are new gloves. Just in case you think I'm infecting the uh -huh. pepper. <laughs> we will poison your loved one. So do you think more? No, I think you're fine. Should I mix I it up? Fine. Uh, yeah, there's your a finger? big fork over there. See it? Yes, I do. Oh, that's not the big fork. Here's the big that's fork. That's okay. This works. The big fork. I'll need that one. Yeah. The powders. Okay. So now, here's what we're going to do. I guess we need to... Uh, we'll just put some little salt on this. All right, now, what you're going to do is, uh, first of all, dip the thigh in flour. Yes. Go ahead. Both sides. We'll just show you one, and then you'll do the rest all by yourself. Yeah, I don't have anything clever and then, to now say. Now knock off the excess flour. Now put it in the egg. F E. See that? See that? Okay, and now put it in the bread. B. <laughs> I like it. F -E I need things like that. There you go. Yeah, well, it helps. It helps to remember. And then put it over here. All right, and we're going to put all and three. Is this just regular breadcrumbs? Yeah, just oh. regular breadcrumbs. Did you, you make them? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they're, they're kind of a cool consistency. Yeah. Well, you can, uh, you can make your own. I, I save all the uh, um, old hot dog and hamburg buns in the summer that you know you know what to do with. And I grate them up in my um, food processor, and then I put them in the oven and toast them a little bit, and then I throw them in a bucket in the freezer. Will so, you do the salt? Oh, yes, I will do the salt. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. F. Yeah, <laughs> I almost thought I was doing it wrong. F, E, B. Yeah. We'll be back. Yeah. Now we're ready to fry. I put some canola oil, you can use the oil of your choice, in a large skillet, and it should be at about 350, 375. But um, if you don't have a thermometer, and I don't have one today, I just throw in uh, a little lump of breadcrumbs, and I wait until it starts to really sizzle, and then I have some indication that it's ready. All right, so Jax, now we're ready to fry. And the only thing that I will tell you is, when you pick up your chicken with your tongs, you drop it away from you, Okay. See, away from you. Good tip. Yeah, because you don't want the oil to go and right. burn you. All right, go ahead, put the other one in. We'll do two at first, and then we'll do the second one. Ready? Like this? Yeah. Okay. Away from you. Yeah. There we go. Good tip. I wouldn't have thought of that. I know, I know. And then as soon as that's light brown, it doesn't matter if it's cooked through because we're going to put it in the oven for a few minutes. I have. I have the oven on uh, 200. I have prepared a baking pan and a baking rack. 
so that the air goes all around the chicken. It won't get mushy. It'll stay nice and crispy. And we're going to put the finished chicken on here, put it in the oven for a few minutes. All right, I've been given the duty to uh, do this one on my own, which is why it's slightly mildly burnt <laughs> on the corners. And then Maggie's ball and chain called. And then put it in the oven. task in the oven. And turn off the gas. Yeah. Telling me from the side. <laughs> All right. Okay, I ended up actually putting it in for eight minutes because I, I'm very paranoid about chicken. <laughs> so, Good job. I mean, Good job. somewhere between five and eight, depending on your yeah. oven. All right, and you can always make a little cut in it or whatever. Make Stick sure. a thermometer if you've got, make sure it's at uh, like 160, somewhere around there. Now, you can put it on the plate just like this with some vegetables and your husband's or wives or significant others. Favorite sauce, maybe barbecue. My husband always likes barbecue sauce or hot sauce or whatever. Or, or you can get another little pan, put some marinara sauce in the bottom. Guess where we're going with this? Is this like a. Um, we're going to make chicken parmesan. Parm thing? Yeah. yeah, so easy. All right, so put some sauce in the bottom of the pan, first of all. Okay, good. Put a, put a, um, a cutlet in. We are, victim. we are so, so sharp. <laughs> we have some mozzarella. So we, yeah, put some mozzarella. 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 That's enough. Put some sauce on top. It's like lasagna, but with chicken. Yeah, but with chicken. <laughs> All right, we're going to stick it back in the oven just enough. Now, if you decide you're going to do um, oh, uh, Parmesan, uh, wait and do the eight minutes with the cheese on top. Alrighty. So I'm going to put this back in the oven. All right, Jack. So now here we have our chicken parmesan. I suppose we could have put some parmesan chicken on. It just occurred to me. <laughs> it's like a chicken but, mozzarella. Yeah, <laughs> chicken mozzarella. But it's what everyone it's likes anyway. Chicken. Yeah. And you could probably make a side of spaghetti. And there you have a mm. nice, easy, nice, quick, easy meal. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And then this would just be serve it plain with vegetables and a vegetable of your choice and there you have it. And that's two, salmon or chicken. Okay, so now the last thing that we are going to make in the protein division is um, braised short ribs. I have never used this in my life. I have no idea. <laughs> How do I get this? At the butcher? Yeah, at the butcher. I, at the, I got them at, the, uh, at the, um, the Acme or the food club. They're like already wrapped. Yeah, they're wrapped and you get them with the bone, bone in because bone in tastes better. Anything with the bone gives you more flavor. So the first thing we have to do is we have to brown these on all sides. So all I'm going to do is, if you have a Dutch oven, that's nice. If not, do it in a big skillet. And this is one of those recipes that, if you want to, you can do in a slow cooker. But the first thing you have to do is you must brown the meat outside first. All right, so we're going to do that. We're just going to brown the meat. And while we do that, and you have to keep turning. It takes about 12 minutes, about uh, three minutes on each side to, uh, to brown the, the ribs. And there we go. That's it. So we're going to sit and brown these things. And when we come back, we'll add the vegetables. So our browning in the pan, we're going to prepare our vegetables. We have two stalks of celery, three carrots that we peeled, and two large onions. And it's just rough because this is going to cook for a long time. And the vegetables basically disappear into nothing. Like that? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Just a sprig in there? Or the no, we're going to put a uh, a bunch of a bunch of thyme, like three, three, four sprigs of thyme, and one bay leaf. And uh, how do you want the onion? Uh, chop it in half, and chop it in a quarter, and chop it in half again. That's what I do. That's okay. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Yeah. As I say, you no, know, it's you're not going to recognize any of the vegetables um, once the meal is done. This is just for cooking. That's all. It's uh, you're not going to serve this at all. But this is Okay, so there's yeah. that, and then... I look like, a, like an experienced sous chef. I know, I know. We throw no, in <laughs> one, one bay leaf, and just throw in some thyme. As much? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Just a bunch of thyme. And it's all we in the We have lots dissolve. of thyme. We have plenty of thyme. <laughs> all right, now you hear the, uh, the stuff sizzling. Let me have the, uh, the pinchers, the tongers. So now we're going to flip these. So that all sides get round. 
I'm going to keep on doing this until all sides are brown, and then we're going to come back. Seared, they're nice and nice and brown on all sides. We thought, and I made the I made a uh, one batch earlier because it takes two and a half hours in the oven. So I made one batch in a Dutch oven. So we thought maybe this one we would put in a slow cooker. So uh, brown the short ribs. Okay, Jax, dump all that in. So that's so unceremoniously or unceremoniously, unceremoniously. Like it. Yeah. So you can see. So there's uh, two large onions that we chopped. They're just large chop. We even left this stuff in. Yeah. Why not? That it's all flavor. And we put a bunch of thyme. I think you saw and uh, a bay leaf. And now, Jacqueline, two cups of a good red wine. I'll do this part. All right. Two, <laughs> two cups to there. Two cups. Two cups. I think that's probably going to finish the bottle. Oh, I hope we get there. Oh. oh what about for the cook? Oh. <laughs> close enough. Sometimes you just luck out. <laughs> oh, yeah, you go ahead. You use it. You do it. Okay. So now i got to do three quarters. Do you see that math? you see how fast that was? When it's wine, she can do math. I can do math when it comes to wine. <laughs> Until I drink it, then yeah. <laughs> all bets are off. <laughs> all right, and now, uh, Jax, bury the um, the short ribs. Bury them? Like bury them. Shove them down bury there. them. Yeah, bury them. In between the flavor? Yeah, in the flavor. Drunken vegetables? Drunken vegetables. <laughs> We shall douse you and cook you. <laughs> All right, I can't really bury that one very far, but it's a crock okay, pie. Okay, good. I'm sure it'll get and there. then I'm going to put on my any salt or pepper before I. Uh, yeah, throwing just a little bit, like a half a teaspoon. Yeah, uh, this is all stuff you want to uh, check your seasoning at the end because you don't want to have a whole lot of salty crap. All right, ready? Oh, I'm going to dump the uh, the fat that was in the. Go. In the pot. It's very flavorful. Okay, and that, my friends, is that for eight hours. So we're going to put it in the slow cooker. So now you have done this in the morning or the night before. Put it in the slow cooker for eight hours, and when you come home, dinner will be served. Um, I just peeled and boiled russet, three russet potatoes, chopped them small, boiled them for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes and then mashed them with some butter and some uh, cream or milk, whatever you have, okay? So then what we would do is put a little bit of mashed potato on the plate. This is like fancy restaurant, very fancy restaurant. <laughs> oh, the bone came off, that's nice. Put your um, piece of meat on it. And there you are. And then and some of the vegetables eat. from our last oh, episode on the corner. That's or something. right. I forgot. Yeah, then the carrots or the beans or the zucchini, whichever you choose. But right now, Jack, go it. ahead. You go ahead. I'll cut two slices. Yeah, cut two slices. Ooh, it's just you don't need a sharp knife. No, it I just thought you would need a sharp part. knife. Well, that yeah. wine just. Mm. You're gonna do your finger. Finger. And your potato and meat. Mm. Mm. It's very very mm. good. Mm. Thank you for joining us and see us next time for the, for dessert. the grand finale. <laughs>